Alright, I saw this animation on the GoPro website and thought, why not create a similar animation using Blender? Well, the animation seemed easy yet attractive. So, I got excited and thought, this will be an easy and fun process. What a foolish decision, I'll regret it quickly, haha. <laughs> anyway, I opened Blender and started the modeling process. I made a terrible mistake that I'll regret later, I didn't carefully look at the product images. I just glanced at them and started the modeling process. As you can see, I began modeling all the parts with slight differences between my design and the actual design. I used the boolean workflow with the hard ops and box cutter add-ons. I acknowledge that the topology may not be ideal, but it's not a concern since I won't be deforming or exporting this model. My sole purpose is to ensure it looks good in the final render. So, don't worry and trust the process. I want to tell you, if you enjoy this type of videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you have any animations you'd like me to try, leave them in the comments. As you can see, I modeled the parts without considering the real dimensions, which is why I encountered a lot of problems during the animation phase. The modeling process took me about two and a half hours. After that, I started working on textures and materials, and everything was going smoothly. Then, I began animating and moving the parts. I connected the parts moving in the same path with each other. Then, I added keyframes and moved the pieces. It took a very long time. After finishing the keyframes, I noticed that I needed to make some adjustments to my design to avoid overlapping between the parts. This was a mistake because I didn't design based on the actual images. Anyway, after fixing the design, I started adjusting the timing between keyframes to create a cohesive animation. However, this became a nightmare as I tried hard to achieve a result exactly like the original animation. I spent more than 3 hours trying to coordinate the timing for the animation parts, but I couldn't get a satisfactory result. After that, I realized it was impossible for me to create two perfectly matching parts of the animation. So, I decided to separate the first part and work on the second part later. As I mentioned, I spent a long time adjusting the timing between keyframes until I got bored and decided to stop because it had been about 8 hours since I started working on this video. Well, the next day, I got up and started working on the modifications again. I faced difficulty in animating the cable because Blender doesn't have a tool, to my knowledge, 
that allows you to move cables and create keyframes for them without using shape keys. Afterward, I tried hard to improve the cable's appearance. I felt like I entered into a whirlpool that I couldn't escape from. I adjust the keyframes, and a topology error appears. I make the correction, but the same thing happens again. My eyes have become accustomed to the animation, so I no longer notice the differences. But after a while, I decided to move on to the second part. I rendered the first part and then started working on the second part. The animation in the second part was smooth compared to the first part, and I found it easy. After about an hour, I finished the second part, and it looked good, although it wasn't an exact match to the original animation. Well, then I compared the first and second parts and noticed that the cable didn't match. The cable in the second part was much better than the first part. So, I decided to make a copy of the cable in the second part and replace it in the first part. After that, I delved into adjusting the timing between the keyframes again. The important thing was not to pressure myself to get an exact match. Anyway, I rendered the first part, took both parts to DaVinci Resolve for editing, and created a mirrored version of the first part because there needed to be complete consistency between the two parts. Finally, this is the final result. Although I'm not entirely satisfied with the result, I'm happy that I was able to finish this project, which seemed simple but taught me a lot of things. The first lesson, don't design anything without carefully looking at the actual reference images and dimensions. Well, I hope you liked the video, and thank you. I'll post a time lapse video for the entire making process for those who like to watch long, boring videos, lol. Bye.